Welcome back to Muffin Below and Brewing, where today I'm going to try and make a hopped apricot cider. So my thought process for trying to make this today is I've got some fresh apricots which I'm going to whiz up and then I'm going to try and put them into the brewzilla with a little bit of water and basically bring them up from cold to about 70 degrees to try and extract as much of the flavour as possible along with a little bit of sugar as well and then at that point what I'm going to do is strain off all of the pulp once I feel like it's I've got as much out of it as I'm going to get and then I'm going to bring it up to the boil and then just basically go by taste and gravity and see when I've got it to a point where I'm happy with it in terms of flavor and the alcohol content and whatnot and then we're going to cool it down and towards the end we're going to add some aroma hops I don't think I'll be using any bittering hops with this because apricots are so delicate um, but for an aroma hop I'm going to use El Dorado and Galaxy um, I recently had a bit of a play with El Dorado in a beer and really loved the stone fruit flavors it gave off so I'm particularly excited about this one I think it's going to be a really good cider but Let's get brewing and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so we've been cooling down now for not very long at all, just because it's a small batch, it's cooling quite quickly. But we are ready to add our uh, aroma hop additions. So we've got about 20 grams of Galaxy and about 30 grams of El Dorado here. Just going to pop those in now to hang out for the remainder of the cooling. And just while we're here, I'll talk a little bit about some of the flavors I've started to encountered during this process so we've got a little bit of an unexpected flavor developing here which is actually tartness so um, definitely what I didn't expect I expected because I was boiling this one for it to uh, bring out more of the sweetness because some of the apricots weren't fully ripe um, but the tart flavor is really shining at the moment so well We'll keep pushing on as it is, and I think we'll get it into the fermenter as it is. Um, but depending on how the fermentation goes, I might look at doing a, a fermenter addition with possibly a jam or maybe some more ripe apricots um, that have just been maybe frozen to kill off some of the bacteria. But yeah, we'll see how this keeps going. Um, I will also talk about the yeast at this point too. So I'm going to be using Kvike for this one. So um, the main reason behind that is because I don't really want to use a super dry cider yeast. Um, I would like this to be have a little bit of residual sweetness. And the other reason I'm using Kvike as well is because I really want this to ferment quickly so it has a little bit of time to condition and still be ready for Christmas. So. We'll get this uh, into the fermenter shortly, and then we'll touch base back during fermentation. Okay, so we are done cooling. Um, it looks like we've hit a starting gravity of 10.30, so quite a bit under what I expected it to be, but I think after tasting it and um, going through the process, I probably started with a little bit too much water. Um, but that's okay, it's all a learning curve. Uh, still got a bit of a tart flavor there which I think I'll try and um, look at doing a secondary addition during fermentation just to try and help um, bring out some more of that ripe apricot flavor that I was originally looking for 
But for now, we'll get it transferred into the fermenter and then we will pitch our La Limand Kavlaik yeast, which I think should chew through this pretty quickly, which it will be good. And hopefully this time next week, we will be drinking the beer or cider, should I say. cider. Um, this turned out with a final gravity of 1011 which gave us about 3% which was a little bit under what I was going for but don't mind it because it makes it a kind of sessionable strength um, so that's a really good quality about it. In terms of the appearance um, very hazy it's not hasn't aged for a really long time so I would expect it to clear up a little bit more than that, but um, it is quite hazy. It does have a really nice orange color. Um, definitely represents what you'd want an apricot cider to look like. In terms of the aroma, on the nose, I really pick up the notes from the El Dorado hops. Um, I did give it a fairly large dry hop uh, for the size of the cider. Um, at about sort of halfway through the fermentation um, and you do really pick up those notes like on the nose um, so let's have a taste wow um, that is a lot more tart than I was expecting it's uh, yeah wow that's got some uh, Lots of tartness left over from the fermentation. There's really not a lot of sweetness there, which is a little bit unexpected considering it finished at 10, 11. Um, it's not a super dry cider, but um, yeah, there's lots of really tart flavors from the apricot coming through. So yeah, it's almost like drinking a sour beer, um, but Yeah, I think the hop flavors in there are pretty good. Um, definitely with some tweaks, you could probably make this a bit sweeter and, and would be quite nice. But yeah, unfortunately that's a little bit tart for now. So I think we'll put that down as something that have to work on in the future. So we are at the start of apricot season here in Australia. So there is a chance we could brew another one of these. So if you want to see that, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming because the fruit was not super ripe, that it's probably really accentuated those unripe fruit flavors. Um, but yeah, it was worth a shot. A uh, really good way to try and use some apricots that we have growing locally. And um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, refine that one in the future. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and you want to see more of my stuff. And uh, we'll make some cool stuff in the future. Cheers.